Hi, this is Loris West. I'm a teaching artist with the Durham Arts Council, working with children in public and private schools. Overall, I'm an improv artist, singer songwriter, recording artist, voice coach, and business consultant. And I offer two programs to the Durham Arts Council. One is comedy and interplay improv, and the other one is speak with ease and confidence. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about comedy and interplay improv. First of all, this is a lot of fun. The kids are gonna have a great time. And there are so many learning skills that, that will come from it. And I'll explain it a little bit. Comedy improv is from an acting school that developed as a separate thing where people are making things up rather than going from a script for a play or a movie, et cetera. And there are rules actually. It seems like how could they have possibly done that? Yes, they're inserting themselves in their creativity, but there are actually agreements that all the actors have about how this particular form goes. And there are also games to get people warmed up. So those are the kinds of things that I'll be doing with the kids. For myself, I studied acting for many years and then comedy improv for many years. Locally, I studied with a new broad and I was a member of the Pitt comedy improv troupe. We were performing every Friday for a while then, then almost every Friday. And that ended when the pandemic started. And I'm also a member of an Im comedy improv duo Lo and Cho, me being Loris and Cho being Cholina Erickson, who is the founder and co-director for many years, 12 years actually, of the improv troupe Fat Mouth Improv. You may have heard of them. So we are really looking forward to doing some performances soon and um, have been practicing over the time of the pandemic. Anyway, um, so I have a lot of experience with, with comedy improv and the kids will just love it. And it's characters, but the games are, are really what we're gonna focus on. They're really fun. And then we'll do a little bit with that. Where we're gonna really spread out is with the interplay improv. Now interplay is not about characters. It's about expressing yourself. Interplay was created in Oakland, California by two dancers, professional dancers who wanted to explore improvisational dance. They also happened to be ministers. So in the sort of design and structure of it, we as teachers consider the body spirit, the whole being in the forms that we teach. We also have very clear structures. And what we're primarily gonna focus on for the kids are the storytelling structures and some movement probably too. And people love telling their stories. They love speaking about themselves from a prompt. It's very connecting. People feel like I, I didn't know this about this person and, and they get to really express themselves and feel connected. In terms of my experience with, with interplay, my husband was in a troupe and was a teacher for many years before I met him. We started doing it together, telling stories to each other actually as a way to get to know each other. Instead of what do you do, what do you do? It's amazing what you can learn about someone in a little story about their life. You know, I was learning what, when he and his father fixed their, the cement floor in their garage, but it told me so much about their relationship and and more creative stuff because there's word play, spoken word and movement. And I studied and became a certified teacher. We taught together for many years, the nine month program and where we take a group of people through several weekends, the life practice program. And then he and I started an improv troupe, impromptu players. And we did service gigs for three years at Ronald McDonald houses, the UNC psych wards for children, adolescent geriatric psych nursing homes. That was a lot of beauty and a lot of um, wonderful experiences. And 
And I have been running an improv jam every Friday night since the pandemic started. And you can check that out at interplaync.org. And that's free and available for you and anyone to come to it. You can't, the thing about interplay is you can't do it wrong because you're talking about yourself, you're inserting yourself into the structure and people feel very, the, the, the group energy is really beautiful. So with the kids, what we'll do is, again, with both, I'm going to give them structures, games to do, exercises, and they'll really love it. The learning objectives are, first of all, we're going to stimulate some new neural pathways. So it stimulates creativity. It helps with self-expression. It helps with working with others because they're collaborating. It helps with creating ideas and innovation, which is great for someone throughout their life, particularly if they're in a company, they want to, or they have their own business, they wanna create new ideas. It also allows people to have fun and play. And that's always really good for not only lifting energy, but also stimulating thinking and collaboration, et cetera. So there are a lot of wonderful aspects of this. I encourage you as a teacher to participate, particularly if we have an uneven number of students, but also there may be a, a, a situation where you and I can do an exercise together while the students are doing it. Although you and I will also want to monitor what's going on with the students also, and um, gently give a word of support here and there. And we will absolutely have a great time and the kids will learn a lot. So I look forward to working with you. And until next time, have a great time and speak from your heart. Take good care.